I'm Cade Baffin, and you're watching the 270 Tour at Newark High School. Shout out 270 Hoops. Welcome to the 270 Tour. We are here in another stop in Newark High School in the iconic Jim Allen Gymnasium. As always, I'm your host, Zach Fleer of 270 Hoops, and today I'm joined by Newark point guard, junior, Cade Bafford. Cade, you know, what's it like being back in this gym and, you know, it being basketball season again? I love it. This gym is my favorite. The coach and the program and the community is my favorite, so I love it here. And then, you know, last season you guys won 20 games. You won your first district title since 2015. You know, what was that experience like for you? You know, being a sophomore, you'd started since freshman year. To finally get to that point, you know, what'd that feel like, you know, on the, on the grand stage of the Columbus Convention Center? Uh, it's a great feeling. It's always been our goal to win a league in a district. And for all the guys that came before us that did it and tried to do it and couldn't do it. So once we finally got it done, as the people done it before us, it was a great feeling. And you guys faced some early adversity last <laughs> season. You know, you lost some talent. JT Shoemate graduating the year prior. You faced some adversity early on. You lost in that exhibition game to Sheridan, and it seemed like a lot of people around here were kind of down on you guys. They thought it might be a rough season. You know, just take us through the progress that you guys made from that early on season. You, you know, you lost to Canal Winchester on the road. It ended the OCC streak. What was it like to, you know, get over that point, win the OCC, and then win a district? Uh, a lot of those losses, like the Sheridan game, motivated us, and I think benefited us in the long run because Coach Quack brought us in. We picked through our mistakes, everyone needed to know what they did better. The canal, we picked through it and it motivated us to like, we got to step up because the people before us got it done. So we have to get it done. And Coach, Coach Quackenbush <clears throat> is one of the elite coaches in the state. You know, we got here early, watched your guys' practice. It was, I've been to some, some college practices. That's what it reminded me of. Um, and playing in this program, you know, what's it like playing for Coach Quack? You know, a guy that's so dialed in, he's played on the division one level, he's won a state title. What are some things that you've learned from him that really stand out to you? Uh, the biggest thing is uh, the culture, the do it for the people before you, your community, that all the people that support you. It's not about yourself, it's about the community and the people before you that put in the effort and made the name of Newark. And what I really like about this program too is it's really a rock solid program all the way down to the youth level. You know, when you guys are in the weight room, we stayed in the gym, we watched the younger group practice. You know, is it cool just to see, you know, in every, Every age in this program, you know, it's the same type of culture and intensity. Do you think that gives you guys an advantage, you know, once you do get to high school and, you know, you've kind of been in the program for so long? Of course, Coach Quack is always with the little, the youth league and he has us come down and coach him up and I believe it helps them in the long run because they know the system, they know how it works and you know everybody, it's a community. And then you started, you've started every game here since your freshman year and it's <clears throat> a program like this is as successful as Newark is, it's kind of rare, especially the point guard position. What was that experience like for you? You know, you were thrown straight into the fire. I remember that game against Beechcroft who went on, they won a district, they went to the regionals. What was that experience like kind of getting thrown right into the wolves there, you know, early on as a young kid? It was extremely tough. It was a learning experience, but I had great teammates like Keyshawn and JT Shoemate that got me through it and told me that the game's over. You learn from your mistakes and you improve because we're expected to get at least 20 wins a season. And then this team has a lot of talent, you know, outside yourself. You have guys, you know, seniors like Bobby Crenshaw, Jaden Woods, the junior class is really talented uh, between, you know, you, Drew Ballinger, Elijah Hinton. What are, you know, the strengths of your teammates? What are, what are some things that those guys do well? And, you know, how do they, how do all those pieces really contribute to winning for this team? Uh, we all have played each other for, with a long, for a long time and we all have energy and we feed into that energy. And when we're all on the same page doing the same job, defensively or offensively, we, we become a pretty solid unit. And I was really impressed last season with Bobby Crenshaw, um, you know, really coming along. I think the play really that stands out to me was the alley-oop right here actually on this hoop against Canal Winchester. Um, what was it like to, you know, witness Bobby's progression last season? Because I, I, I was told that he'd only been playing basketball for a year. And it's true. Er, he's played about two years, and it's amazing how much he's improved in those two years. His athleticism, athleticism's amazing, and he, when, when he just focuses and comes together, he's a great player. And Drew Ballinger in that district title um, against Olin Tangy Orange, you guys kind of came off to a slow start. He came in there, hit, what, five or six threes yes, in the sir. first half. Drew being in your class, you know, what was it like to see him have that moment there on the big stage? It was huge and I always knew he could do it eighth grade. I remember dying, or just driving in and hitting him and he was always hit those corner threes and I knew he could do it and I was just happy for him to do it in such a big stage. And then another guy, he played in our fall league, Elijah Hinton, 
it's crazy to see, you know, I look back, I look at the program last year. He was six foot three, he wasn't all that tall. Now he's six five, six six. What's his, you know, progression been like? What areas has he really grown? Uh, Height-wise, it's crazy. I was taller than him in middle school, and then he shot up, and then <laughs> he rebounds. When he focuses on re rebounding and running down the court, he's an amazing player, and he's just solid around the room. And this community, you know, you touched on it earlier, this community is amazing. They come out, they support That's you true. guys. It's the only place I've been to where there's season tickets. You have season ticket holders, there's reserved seats. When you come in here, you know, you really got to look if you don't have season tickets. What's it like to have the communities backing like that, to know anywhere you guys go, you could have a game literally on the moon and there's gonna be Newark Faithful there. What feeling does that give you when you come out and you see that you have all that support every single game? It's the best feeling in the world. I've always said it, the Newark basketball community and the community in general is just the best. They work hard, they care about every individual and the, the community, to, when they come together, it's a beautiful thing. And there's been some great players that come through this program. You know, more recently, you have guys like Jordan Dardis, who's now at Ohio University, BJ Dooling, played at Kent State, JT Shoemate, who's probably one of the best Division II players in the country. When those guys come back, you know, what are some things that they, you know, say to you? What are some things that you've learned from them? And how cool is it to see those guys still involved in this program, even if all, all the great things that they've accomplished? Uh, it's an amazing feeling. It, they come back and teach you how to lead. They point out that everyone's gone through it. They, we have a wall of all the greats. And once you see them, they know they've been through it. You know you have a role to fulfill and you got to get it done. And in this program, you know, every time you guys win a game, you come back here, you slap another number on, number on that board. What's that feeling like? I mean, especially when it's a big game, that OCC title game against Canal Winchester, this place was packed. Um, just seeing that type of tradition, what does that just do for you as a player? It motivates you every day just to keep grinding morning in and morning out. Just try harder and harder and harder to get what the people have done before you. And then, you know, you guys have dominated the OCC. Last year was a challenge. This okay. year, it's going to be tough again. I mean, Canal, we were just at Canal Winchester yesterday. They bring a lot back. New Albany's improved. Groveport's going to be better. What can the OCC capital expect from you and Newark this season? Newark is a lot of energy, a lot of defense. What they expect or what they've seen past years throughout Newark is the same, but we're going to have to try to just keep, get it done, keep getting the job done and do our thing. And the last kid that I want to bring up, and he played in our intro event, he played in our fall league, he reminded me a lot of you and you were freshman is Grant Burkholder. Um, that's another, you know, kind of hard-nosed kid like you. Seeing Grant, you know, he's a freshman, you were at his, you know, position just two years ago. What are your initial thoughts on watching him and, you know, how do you think he's going to be able to help you guys this year? I believe if he just stays mentally focused, because that's the hardest thing to do throughout these practices and workouts is just stay into it, because you're going to have down days and you're going to have up days. You just got to stay level-headed and you'll end up getting the job done, whether it's now or two years from now. And then, you know, like we just mentioned, the OCC, it's going to be tough again. What's it going to take for you guys to, you know, win another OCC title this year? Uh, it's going to take it's going to take a lot of effort and it's, nothing's going to be easy because there's a lot of great teams in the OCC. So we're just going to buckle it down and get the job done. Well, we look forward to watching again. I, I love coming here. This is probably my Appreciate favorite gym it. in the area. You guys play a great, great, great band, brand of basketball. If you're a Central Ohio fan, you haven't been to Newark yet. I highly suggest coming here, especially if it's one of those big OCC games because, you know, the fans are going to pack the arena. It's going to be a great environment. And uh, I want to thank yes, you, sir. Cade. You know, it's thank great you. to be back here again. This is all we got from our latest stop on the 270 tour here at Newark High School. Once again, I'm your host, Zach Fleur of 270 Hoops. This is Cade Bafford. We look forward to seeing you guys next time.